In this video, we'll do an example to illustrate root finding with MATLAB's built-in function F0. F0 is a powerful and easy-to-use function which returns the root of a function given two inputs. The syntax is x equals F0 of fun, comma, x0, where x is the computed root, fun is an anonymous function in f of x equals 0 form, and x0 is an initial guess. There are some other syntaxes, such as this one with additional outputs. These aren't necessary for this class, but I encourage you to try them out just to see what they do. Fun, which is one of the two inputs to F0, must be an anonymous function, which you know how to write by now. The most important thing is to put it in f of x equals 0 form. MATLAB even includes this in their documentation. The hardest part of F0 is deciding what to use for your initial guess, x0 x0 can be a single point or a bracket. If you give a bracket, F0 behaves like the bisection method. Implicit in this is the function evaluated at the start and end points of the bracket must have opposite signs. Interestingly, F0 usually behaves faster if you give it a bracket instead of a scalar, but the difference for problems in this class is negligible, so choose whatever you like. Regardless of whether you use a single point or an interval for x0, it must be reasonably close to whatever the true root is. If you provide an initial guess that's too far from the root, f0 will diverge and you'll get an error. So how close is reasonably close? Unfortunately, there's no set answer. You have to rely on your engineering judgment to select a reasonably close guess. Oftentimes, you'll be presented with some large or complicated function, so you probably won't know what a reasonable x0 is. You can circumvent this by plotting the function. By visually inspecting the plot, you can pinpoint an approximate location for your initial guess. You can also see the shape of the function, which can be helpful in verifying your root or answering any follow-up analyses questions. If you haven't noticed, we plot a lot of stuff in this class, and this is no exception. Get in the habit of plotting the function when you first see it so you can determine a suitable guess. This will minimize your chances of inadvertently picking a guess that causes F0 to diverge. The specific example we'll do is the Manning equation. The Manning equation describes fluid flow in an open channel. You might have seen this earlier in the class. If I wanted to solve this equation for h given the other four parameters, I would need to employ a root finding method since I can't explicitly solve for h without great difficulty. If we want to use MATLAB's f0 function, we first need to make an anonymous function in the f of x equals 0 form. We can do this by moving the q to the right hand side, so we have everything on that side and 0 on the left. Let's move into MATLAB and code this. Alright, here we are in MATLAB. I've already given you the system parameters and plotting code, so all we need to do is write the anonymous function, pick an initial guess, and call f0. We know what the equation in f of x equals 0 form is, so we can code that into MATLAB. Don't forget the minus q at the very end to put it in f of x equals 0 form. Next, we need to pick an initial guess. Sometimes, you may be able to pick a guess based on context clues given in the problem or by just looking at the equation, but that's not really the case here. Therefore, we need to plot the anonymous function. I don't know what range to plot the function over, so I'll just arbitrarily pick 0 to 10 and we can work from there. Uncomment the plot commands and run the code. We see that the function crosses 0 in between 0 and 1, so let's narrow down our plotting range so we can zoom in on the 0 crossing. Now we have a much better view of the root. If we hover over the plot, we can see that at x equals 0.68, we come very close to the root. Let's use that as our initial guess.
In the command window, we see that F0 converged to root, which is located at h root equals 0 0.7023. It's always smart to check the accuracy of the root, so let's plug it back into our anonymous function. Because it's a root, we should expect the function to be close to zero. And we get negative 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 16, which is essentially zero. We don't get exactly zero due to numerical roundoff errors, but that's okay in this class. Finally, let's try calling f0 with an initial guess that is far from the actual value of the root. Recall that f0 will diverge if you pick a guess that's not reasonably close to the true root. We know that the true root is around 0.7, so let's try an extreme initial guess. As you can see, F0 returned NAN, which means not a number. In other words, F0 diverged because our initial guess of 50 was too far away from the true root. This is why you should always plot the function to select an initial guess so you don't make F0 diverge. And that's the end of this demo. Go ahead and try this out on your workshop problems. See you soon.